Hi, and welcome back to the Craft Mansion. Today I will be showing you how to make this unicorn. As you can see in the video, this unicorn is actually a lampshade and it lights up. The main materials I used were foam, foam board and cardstock. Then I used some other materials like an LED strip and a diffuser plastic, but I will guide you through all the materials I have used during the video. And now, as always, let's get into the intro. The first thing you need to do is to print out the templates I gave you. So we'll use this later on in the video and we'll start tracing this picture right now. So trace it onto cereal box cardboard and I found it much easier to trace the pieces intact. So don't cut them separately but keep them together and then go over the lines very hard and then they'll mark onto the cardboard. Then go over the lines again on the cardboard and that way your template will still be intact. Do cardboard stencils for these three pieces over here, these two, then the hair, the outline of the horse and the mouth, nose and eye features. Don't do templates for the grey area in the middle because you don't need that. And also do templates for the horn. So we have six pieces and do them separately. I'm going to use my original picture, as you can see it has a lot of lines in it, that's because this template has both this and this on it, but I made these two to make it easier for you. And here are the cardboard stencils. For this piece over here you don't need to do two separate stencils, you can do one and then trace the outer line and the inner line. Once you have cut all the stencils, transfer the patterns onto foam sheets. I have color coded them for you on the template. The hair is made out of pink and purple foam, the air out of pink and white, and the unicorn itself is made out of a white outline and black features. Then cut the foam. Now we'll make another stencil from cardboard and you need to trace this brown line. So it goes from down here and then up here, around the ear, hair, nose, and back down. Don't trace on the innermost line or the outwardmost line, but on the middle one. Now trace the cardboard on the foam board and cut the shape out of the foam board. Then cut strips of white cardstock of 5 cm thickness. So we'll do the sides of the shape. I found it really helpful to first bend the cardstock and then stick it to the foam board. The strips should be coming upwards from the foam board, just like I'm sticking them. Use wood glue to stick the strips. At the places where a strip ended and another one started, I used tape to hold the strips together. Now paint the back of the unicorn white, so as to allow light to reflect more. To further secure the strips to the foam board, I added hot glue. To make the support of the front face of the unicorn, we're going to use foam board. Now, these pieces over here are the support. So, the light brown pieces, which are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And as you can see, they're separated by small black lines. Trace them separately onto foam board and then cut them. Make sure that when you're sticking the support, you glue it in the right place, as this will be the front face of the unicorn. For the base, just measure a rough area and cut a piece of foam board and stick it on the inside of the base. I decided to stick the white foam at the back with super glue so as to make the process quicker and to have a better grip. Start adding bit by bit until the whole back is covered. And then, of course, cut off all the excess foam. For the base, I'm using black foam, doing the same process and cutting off the excess. Now it's time to go back to the front foam pieces. Line them up correctly using the template and tape them together with masking tape from the front. Do this for all the hair and ear pieces. Then flip the whole thing together and start super gluing them from the back. 
Do the same for the horn pieces. We need to cut a few more pieces of foam. So we'll go back to this template and as you can see there basically there's a 5mm border all around. There's the pink and purple border, the white ear border, the purple border and then the white border over here. So trace these separate pieces onto bits of cardboard. They should be thin pieces like this. Trace the pieces of cardboard onto foam according to the color indicated on my template. For the light I'm using LED strips. Since my strips only need 12 volts, I attach them to a transformer and then the transformer to a plug. Don't attach the plug straight away but only the LEDs and the transformer. I stuck the transformer next to the bottom and then I started attaching the LEDs. First start by lighting the sides of the lamp, like I'm doing, and then the center. Make a hole near the bottom, insert the wire leading to the plug and attach it to the transformer. Now it's time to insert a lampshade switch into the circuit. Slit the cover until you see the colors inside and then shave off some of the white cover carefully. Then cut the brown wire, which is the live wire, and insert each end into respective slots. Screw the wires in place and attach the front cover back on. So as to mask the black transformer, I painted some of it white. To make the diffuser, I glued tracing paper onto the front with wood glue and cut off the excess. Then, I covered the whole thing with a diffusing plastic so as to avoid the tracing paper from ripping. I actually got this from a screen layer of an old laptop. I have no idea what it is. As you can see here, in some areas the super glue spread, so apply it moderately. I had to hide these mistakes later in the project. Do the whole thing and cut off the excess plastic. Now it's time to glue the hair and ear. Simply remember to leave the 5mm edge out of the gluing area and glue it bit by bit. Then stick the white outline and the eye, nostril and mouth. Also, glue in the horn of the unicorn. The 5mm pieces you cut earlier will go at the back to hide the excess diffuser and secure it in place. Now it's time to cover up the sides with foam strips, corresponding to the colors we just put in. After I glued in the white strips, I realized that light shone through them, so either use a uniform layer of glue or add a darker strip of cardstock before adding the foam. For the hair, keep on adding strips according to each piece of the hair. Then cut a hole for the wire at the bottom and finish that up as well. The unicorn is ready, but since super glue spread at two visible points, I had to cover up the mistakes. A friend suggested to add glitter, so I decided to cover the areas with small stars and adding them one by one so as to cover things up neatly. And that's my tutorial, I hope you liked it. In fact, why not like, comment and subscribe, I will put the subscribe button over here and while you're at it, you can also view Either two of these videos, I have the one where I made my one from the Pottermore site and this one where I created four crafts for Halloween.